Do you struggle to get good photographs to paint from? Using the basics of Photoshop, you can turn your blah photos into excellent reference photos. Hey guys, it's Lynn Pratt. I just wanted to walk you through a simple tutorial on how I edit photos in Photoshop. Now, disclaimer, this is not a Photoshop tutorial. This is showing you if you know the basics of Photoshop, how I get from just a regular photo to something amazing to paint from. So this is my photo that I took of my pair straight out of my camera. So it's really great. It has some highlights. It has my one pair leaning against another. It's a pretty good setup, but I want to make it better. So first I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast. So I've gone in, I've adjusted brightness and contrast, and this is what I get to. As you can see, I've also taken off the top of the stem of the left pair because I didn't like that. So I just copy and pasted some of the background over that and took it out. Now I'm going to start making adjustments to make this composition even better. I've enlarged the right pair so it's quite a bit bigger than my left pair, so compositionally it works better. I've added, you can see I can toggle on and off, I've just copy and pasted a little bit more of that highlight just to make it a little bit brighter and a better shape. I've moved the bruise on the pair. So it was center, right in the dead center of that pair, which I didn't like that orientation. So I made it a little bit larger and offset to the right so that it would just make a, a bit better of a composition. Next, I enlarge the top of that right hand pair. So you can see as I toggle it on and off, I just stretched it and made it a little bit bigger so that the pair had a more interesting shape and the stem was a little bit larger. Then I shaded the bottom side just a little bit more. You can see that it's not shadowed quite as good. And I've made it a little bit more round with a little bit more of a shadow on there to really get the feeling that that other pair is leaning against it. Now I've added from another photo that I took of a different pair, I've added another top on that left hand pair, again to just give it a better shape. So you can see as I toggle that on and off, it's kind of a boring little pair. So I've just changed the shape a little bit to kind of make it feel like it's leaning against that other pair. And again, I just grabbed this from another photo that I took. When I do a photo shoot, I usually take about 100 photos at least in all different orientations so that when I'm in here editing, I can easily grab pieces from other photos, say a favorite stem from one or another highlight from another, bruises from one, and I can add them all into my final composition. So again, you can see the difference between this and that extra top on the pair. Next, I've just added a little bit of extra highlight right in the center to really give the, the distance between those pairs to really feel like it's leaning there. I've come in and added a bruise on there, another bruise, and again, these are from different images. So I had another pair that had lots of bruises on it that I took photos of, and I just matched it up and added them in. So again, here's some more highlights that I've added in, some more highlight and a whole bunch of more bruises to really make that pair seem a little bit more beat up. Again, some more bruises and highlights up on the top. You can see as I just toggle that on and off, I've added it from a different pair and added it as another layer. Next, just darkened up that top side. You can see the top side of the left pair it was just a little bit light there and I wanted to have a better uh, border right against the background. So I just darkened that up a little. And last, just added another little bruise onto that pair. I thought it was missing something in that area. So I added another little bruise there. So this is my final photo that I'll paint from. So you can see this from the beginning is a huge difference. So if I go back and I take off all of those edits you can see as I walk you back through all of my steps, back down to this original photo, the difference from this to the end is huge. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I hope this helps. This really is just using the basics of Photoshop to edit, but I just wanted to show you my start to finish 
what I'm starting from, you don't have to be an amazing photographer to get a great photo to paint from. You just need to know the basics of Photoshop to edit your photo. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's paint. You can get the full video tutorial to paint this photo in my Patreon online school.